in 1938, a year and a half before the Second World War, was... That's what I'm going to read. It was written... Uh, it was written about an American GI who was sent to France in the 1914-1918 war to keep the world safe for democracy. And he got hit by a high-velocity shell and they blew off his arms and legs, everything, his eyes. He didn't have anything. He was kept alive like a fragment of meat in a hospital in France. And he couldn't figure out what to do with his life. I mean, he, he lived, but, you know, he could tap with his head and, uh, and communicate but he couldn't imagine what use his life could be. And he gradually began to discover that if people around the world saw him, saw, saw this piece of meat that they couldn't see or hear or speak or anything, they would understand the futility and the horror and the stupidity of war. So he sent to his commanding authority and the government and everyone and asked them if they would put him in a glass box and send him around the world, you know, so that everybody in the world could see him. And in looking at him, they would understand, and, the, and then, then they would make all people come together and all people be free. And he waited for the answer because he thought that the governments, once they heard that idea, would be really eager and do it. And the answer came back, and the answer, of course, was no, that he had to stay in the hospital, that nobody could see him, that, uh, that he, he just had to stay there, and he couldn't understand. And then suddenly he did. Suddenly he saw. He had a vision of himself as a new kind of Christ, as a man who carries within himself all the seeds of a new order of things. He was the new Messiah of the battlefields, saying to people, as I am, so shall you be. That was it. He understood it. He understood it now. He understood everything. He had told them his secret. And in denying him, the authorities had told him theirs. He was the future. He was a perfect picture of the future, and the authorities were afraid to let anyone see what the future was like. Already they were looking ahead, they were figuring the future. And somewhere in that future they saw war. Now to fight that war, they would need men. But if men saw the future, they wouldn't fight. <laughs>